Hey guys, today is Wednesday. Happy hump day. If you're wondering about this look, I just recorded a video for this look. This little hair jewelry, I made it. I just bought a chain from my local craft store and just measured it to my head and put my hair in a bun with a part in the middle. Did some really exaggerated eyeliner. I think I look like royalty. I was inspired by my king earrings. You guys know them, right? Where did I put them? Yeah, I was inspired by my king earrings, which are these ones. These are probably my favorite earrings that I've ever made, like my favorite design. And I love them. And I don't think they get as much love on my website as they should, so I decided to do a look and take some new pictures. So hopefully you guys like them. You can check them out. In my mom's kitchen, raiding her fridge. We just dropped off some more wigs so she can continue the packaging process. And um, her fridge looks depressing. There's nothing in here. Let me go, me go, me go, me go, me go, me go. And they're so cross there now. And to me. Well, we finished at my mom's and decided to make a little stop at the casino. This is Ajax Downs. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I know, Ajax Breaking Downs. Breaking my camera. That's a little casino east of Toronto. So what we do when we go to the casino, we take uh, uh, $40 and we play the one cent machines. And if we win on the $40, then we, we keep going. If not, then we go home early. Yeah. So we might be here for like 10 minutes, <laughs> <laughs> which wouldn't be the first time. That's the plan. couple hundred bucks so now we're in the grocery store spending it because you guys I ran out of ginger tea remember I told you I ran out of ginger tea like last week I haven't had any since and I'm jonesing so I came to get some right there and uh, we're gonna see what else we can find since we're here I'm actually getting really hungry you're really really hungry I'm hungry yeah are oh, you uh, Hi guys, today is Thursday. Look at this ridiculous mess outside. Yeah, but this is nothing compared to the people in, uh, in the New York area. Yeah, I feel sorry for my New Yorkers Boston and... Or anybody in that mid... What is that? East? No, East. Shredded wheat. Mid East? North East. North East. Anyways, I know parts of the states got slammed, so... Yeah. Hope everybody's alright. You stayed at home. Mm -hmm. Didn't lose your power. Hopefully you had plenty of supplies. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't, come and visit us. So yeah guys, we just came from our accountants um, just to get some advice and tips on getting our taxes together this year, filing our taxes, because we want to be you know, on the ball for that. Um, but yeah, this snow, like we didn't get a lot of snow this year, so I can't really be that mad. This is our third snowfall. And this is the first time we've seen snow. Yeah, it's actually we stayed away. on the ground. And we were away for the. Oh yeah, time. we were in Mexico, so I can't complain that that much. But you guys, it's been brutally cold, so I just I still can't with the winter. So yeah, now we finished with the accountants. We're gonna go hit up Walmart. The boy needs some protein powder. He's out. I ran out of wig caps, so I'm gonna have to pick some up. And I want to show you guys the flyer for the event that is going to occur February 22nd for support a sister this month. Uh, hold on a second. All right guys, it's a little bit bumpy on this road so I hope it's not too bad, but here it is, that's the flyer. It says, London Ivy Products and Tony Daly presents the politics of black hair, the series. So for the first one we're gonna be discussing is protective styling political or simply a style choice. We're gonna have a panel, you can see our four Lovely ladies on the panel, first of course being myself, second naturally Nisi, woo -woo. then we've got uh, Kina Morgan, she's a licensed curly hair specialist, and of course my girl, my bestie, Splint24. So advanced tickets are 10 bucks, you guys, super cheap, you have no excuses. It's at Harlem Restaurant, which is downtown 67 Richmond Street, black owned business, hashtag support a sister. 
I plan to try to make it exciting because I've been to a lot of events that I find boring to be honest so I'm gonna be doing giveaways every half hour I have some amazing um, sponsored gifts that you guys are gonna love um, of course there's gonna be a Tony wig up for grabs a Gabrielle wig up for grabs you want me to do a song and dance comedy routine that'll keep it live and popping yeah the boy can do a song and dance I guess <laughs> he's gonna be there <laughs> Maybe. Supporting because I'll be in the background in the shadows. You're gonna be there. Don't I'll probably be, be drunk on the floor somewhere. Drunk in love. Drunk in love. <laughs> we be all night. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you are a mess. <laughs> We're going to the mall, Cedar Bay Mall. There's a Walmart in here and the boy wants to go get protein powder, so I figure we could come here. <laughs> we could come here because I'm also hungry and there's a little food court in here. I'm gonna take the camera. So I can get something to eat. Whoa, what? What the hell's wrong with you? What? <laughs> Excuse me, what are you doing? Come on, get over here. Get, <laughs> get over the camera. Get Quick! Give me all your stuff. Who are you? Oh my god, I have my camera. You're ridiculous. Anyways, you guys. <laughs> we just stopped at Ardeen's. They have some sale racks outside that are 70% off. So I thought I'd pick up some athletic wear, aka home clothes, because y'all know. Have I told you guys I haven't been back to the gym since November? So yeah, so much for that. I got in shape for our vacation, and then after that, I just fell off. What can I say? I'm vain. I just want to work out to look good for an event. I don't care about my health. I'm just joking. I do, but you know what I'm saying. Hey, it's your favorite song. I know, right? I come from a long, 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 long. No, this is not my favorite song. My favorite song is, um, how's it called? What's it called? The one, The Rains from Africa. The Rains from Africa? Uh, 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 <laughs> I bless the rain down in Africa. That song, that's my favorite song. That's the only part I know. You destroyed that song. <laughs> because, no, I had Africa. to get to the chorus to remember it. Alright, so what am I buying? Look at this guy on the phone, you guys. He stuck his phone under his headphones. <laughs> Can you guys see that? It's a flip phone. Oh, it's a flip phone, but he stuck it under his headphone to hold it in place. That is uh, Bluetooth technology at its finest. So yeah, guys, we're just here, you know? <laughs> no, the headphones were not plugged in. The cord was dangling between his legs. He just made his own headset. Like, that's ingenuity, you know what I mean? Yeah, so we're here in Walmart now. Okay, it's starting to fill now. <laughs> oh, my results are normal. I'm normal. Are you really? Yep. I should check one. All right, now the boys turn. 138188. That's the number to be. It's not a competition. You don't have to beat me. What is the matter? My arm doesn't fit in here. Oh, they're too massive, your pipes. But you remember how high my blood pressure was before? Before I quit? I think it was the job that was stressing me out. Normal. Mine's a little bit higher than yours, but it's normal. My pulse is 57. Oh, what was my pulse? 80 something. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was better. I remember it used to be like 120. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My heart beats fast. So I'm a do? lover. Oh my gosh, you guys won't believe who I met at Walmart. I love her. She's my best friend. And we're going to go see how much she is. And if she's not too expensive, she's going to come home with me, aren't you? Did you have one already? No. We're just at the dollar store right now. I came to pick up some envelopes so I can pack up some orders. And I stopped at the P.O. Box. And guess what? I got a letter. Shout out to you, Paula. She sent me such a sweet letter. Um, it was very nice, so thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm probably gonna write you back. Was that fan mail? Fan mail, my first piece of fan mail. 
Just joking. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. Tony said hi to me. Thank you. Oh yeah, very you nice did. Of you. you made our day. That was very sweet. The PO box is empty, but except for your letter. But the letter brightened. Made it worth it. Yeah, brightened. Driving in the snow, so mm -hmm. thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, girl. Boy went to the gym. I am at home, even though I bought gym clothes today. But I forgot to show you guys what I ended up getting. So let me show you. Everything in our Deans was 70% off, so that's why I decided to pick up some home clothes, as I call it, house clothes, whatever. So I got these little athletic shorts, super cute. Um, they ended up costing, they were regular $14.50, they ended up costing $4.35. I got these ones as well, which are super cute, they're like a softer material and these ones as well ended up costing four dollars and thirty five cents I got this um, gray athletic tee it's really cute this ended up costing five dollars and twenty five cents it's got all the seaming and it's got little zipper details so I really like this shirt might make it to the gym one day and last oh my gosh you guys when I saw this I had to get it it's a jersey and look what it says internet famous okay I love it this was um, 1450 regular price ended up paying four dollars and thirty five cents so I'm gonna look super cute around the house or the gym if I ever get there so yeah that was a pretty good deal only cost me 20 bucks for those items and right now I'm just at home um, packing some orders and I just feel like I have a lot to do. I gotta pack some orders. This place is a hot mess. I gotta wash these dishes. Um, ugh, I don't have time to vlog. The life of a Canadian, you guys. Happy Friday. Windshield wipers are frozen solid to the car, and what happens is if you, you know, it's a force of habit to turn it on to clear your windshield, but because they're frozen, they snap off. So we almost snapped off our. Oh, so cold. Our wipers. Today is absolutely, positively, oh. unfathomably freezing cold like I just can't explain to you how cold it is right now I think it's much that used to I just can't explain there's no words that can explain my lotion is still a solid bar so you can imagine what it's doing to our bodies our bodies are what 70% water something stupid like that 80 I don't know we're basically water and we live in this desolate freezing why do ridiculous we? We temperatures to. I'm ready to go. You, I'm frustrated. You, you want to stay here and torture me? I'm not trying to torture you. That's right. I'm ready to go. I tell you. Go where? Go somewhere south. To Hot. the states, but we can only stay for six months. Six they don't months want us. Good. Why don't you guys want us? Six Canadians are amazing. Good. We're good for the economy, and we're friendly, and we're non-violent. Let's just go. Because honestly, it only really makes sense to go right now. We're just gonna stay. And what happens when we when we get caught? And get no, no, court? we're not gonna stay. We're gonna stay for six months. <sighs> I can't with the back and forth, man. Six months is a long time. Yeah, but then we have to shut down the sites and We don't everything. shut down nothing. To go back and forth every six months? How are we going to ship we'll stuff? We'll be smart about it, them? that's all. Just smart. SMRT. I don't want to have this conversation right now. It's freezing cold. I work on my accent. <laughs> um, I didn't finish doing my makeup. I put a puff in this morning and I yeah, tied it down, so I still look a hot mess right now. So yeah, we're just about to stop at Tim Hortons, which is behind us, and get some breakfast. Um, and then go to my mom's house because I need to bring her some more wig caps. We ran out. Hey guys, we're having a giveaway for a free dog. How to enter? Don't say anything or do say something. <laughs> okay, you're getting a free dog. Yeah, I'm just joking. She's just being annoying. And I want to give a shout out to Naturally Niche because she left a comment giving me step-by-step -step instructions on how to change our channel name, right? And so thank you for taking the time to do that. I did try a million times before, I swear, and it didn't work. 
Yeah, I'm, I, we're, we're happy that you sent us the instructions. They were wrong, but uh, we figured it out anyways. <laughs> I figured it out in like three seconds. It took 26 weeks. So. Listen, no. I, you, t you guys know how YouTube is, right? I swear to you, they must have changed something. Because when I tried, no. It kept telling me to create a new channel. And I was like, and then when I tried to put and, the word and, they wouldn't let me put the word and. Free. Like, I couldn't it, put spaces. First time. And I've never done it before. <laughs> I don't even follow instructions, and I still did it. Anyways, the first point, time. Point is, point is, I'm it's smarter done. Than you. He figured it out. That's smarter than you. Channel name is changed, but we decided not to go with the daily grind. I actually decided not to go with the daily grind because, if you guys have noticed, the boy is a lot more vocal now. So I decided to include him and change the channel name to Tony and the Boy. It so should be welcome. The boy and Tony. Is that what you think? Or it should be Drew and the Girl. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Tony and the Boy channel. It should be Tony for my new subscribers and old subscribers. Because I'm a feature. No, you're not. A I feature. am a feature. Yeah. People come to see me specifically. Is that what they do? And you're just there as you know a little bit of. You this know, guy's crazy. Some, some, some eye candy. So we hope you enjoy man. your time here. We hope you enjoy your time here, Marley. If you don't shut up, I'm gonna give you away to one of my subscribers. Look at the camera when I'm talking to you. Look at your new owners. Look at them in the face and tell them how annoying and what a bad girl you're being today. Now for a break.